Caribou. Tunkasa Brothers National School. Welcome, welcome. Mr. M is ready for you. Hamjambo wanafunzi bora. Mimi ni Mr. M na wakaribisha kwa Mukasa Brothers International School. Hello awesome students, I'm Mr. M and welcome to Mukasa Brothers International School. Now in today's lesson, we are going to learn the remaining names of family members in Kiswahili language. You're ready to go? I'm sure you are. And make sure that you practice the previous video. Now, this is part two of names of family members in Kiswahili language. I'm going to introduce some new words here. First one is wa kiume. Wa kiume. Wa kiume. And second one is wa kike. Wa kike. Very good. Now, I'm going to introduce a word here called mtoto. Mtoto. Mtoto means child in English. So, mtoto. Now, mtoto could be both a child, who is, could be a boy or a girl. For example, if I want to say a child who is a boy in Kiswahili, I would say mtoto wa kiume. Mtoto wa kiume. Mtoto wa kiume. The next one, if I want to say the child is a girl, I would say mtoto wa kike. Mtoto wa kike. Which basically means the child is definitely a girl. Very good. Another word is, I'm going to introduce you, two of them. One, first one is mkubwa. Mm. Kubwa. Mkubwa. Mkubwa means eldest. Very good. And now we have ndogo. Ndogo means young or youngest. Ndogo. If you want to say a father who is the, who is the eldest in their family or a family, we would say baba mkubwa. Baba mkubwa. If we want to say a father who is the youngest in the immediate family or the family, we would say Baba Ndogo. Baba Ndogo. Very good. Now listen. Let's now practice other names of family members in Kiswahili. The first one is Mume. Mume. Mume means husband. The next one is nke or bibi. Nke or bibi, which means wife. The next one is mama wa kambo. Mama wa kambo. Mama wa kambo means stepmother. In that case, Baba Wakambo, Baba Wakambo means stepfather. Very good. The next one is Baba Ndogo, remember? Or Mama Ndogo. Well, in some countries where Kiswahili is an official language, such as in Congo, when we say Baba Ndogo, we normally refer to our uncle. So, Baba Ndogo, that means our uncle who is the younger brother of my father or the younger brother of my mother. That is Baba Ndogo. But if I say Baba Mkubwa, that's also I'm referring as an uncle. But in that case, is the eldest brother of my father or my mother. Baba Nkubwa. The next one is Ntoto o Mwana. Ntoto o Mwana. Ntoto o Mwana. Ntoto is refers to one child. Okay? 
one child is ntoto, which means singular. So just one child, ntoto. But if we want to say more than one child, we would say it as wa toto, which means children. Wa toto. Very good. So in Kiswahili language, you can say two ways. Ntoto or mwana, which means one child. But if you want to say more than one child, you can say wa toto. Very good. Next one is ndugu. 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 Ndugu, it is an expression when we're trying to say that, for example, someone is like a brother to us or a sister to us or even a citizen. And this can also mean someone who is like a friend to us. We refer to them as ndugu. Ndugu. So basically, someone that you have that good connection and relationship with, you can refer to them as ndugu. Ndugu. Well done. So the other one is, are you ready? Nsichana. 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 Nsichana means a girl. Girl, msichana, girl. Whereas, mvulana, mvulana. Mvulana means boy, a boy, boy. Very good. The next one is mwana mke, mwana Mke. Mwana mke means woman. A woman. Whereas, on the other hand, mwana mume. Mwana mume. Mwana mume means man or a man. Man. Mwana mume. Now, these are very interesting, the next ones. You ready? The next one is kifungua mimba. Kifungua mimba. Kifungua mimba. Kifungua mimba means firstborn child. Okay? Basically, it means the eldest or the child who was born first in that particular family. We refer to them as kifungua mimba. The next one, now, yeah, this is the last one. Well, one of the last one, not quite there yet. This one is kifunga mimba. Kifunga mimba. Kifunga mimba. Kifunga mimba means Last born. Kifunga mimba. Basically, last born child. Kifunga mimba. Well done. The next one is mama mkwe. Mama mkwe. Mama mkwe refers to your mother's in law. So your mother in law is mama mkwe. Mama mkwe. So basically, that is your mother in law. But when you say baba mkwe, baba mkwe, baba mkwe refers to your father-in-law. So father-in-law, that is baba mkwe. Very good. The next one is wifi. Wifi. Very good. Wifi means this is your sister-in-law. We fee. Very good. The next one is mkaza mwana. Mkaza mwana means daughter in law. Mkaza mwana. 
The next one is binti. Binti. Binti means daughter of. Daughter of. Okay. Binti. That means it is a daughter of someone. Binti. The next one is kijana. 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 So kijana means youth, young man, or ten ager. So kijana. Kijana. The next one is nze. 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 Nze means an elder. Nze means elder. And lucky last is njuku. 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 Njuku means both grandson or granddaughter. Very good. Now you've learned more of the names of family members in Kiswahili language. So make sure that you practice and also make sure that you comment, subscribe and like the video and also follow us on our Instagram. Kwaheri tutazidi kuonana.